Well, hey, good morning, good morning. It's Wednesday. How is everyone? Um, okay, I'm gonna make sure that I can see comments here. So if you are just tuning in, hello, good morning. I hope everybody, it's minus 20 bajillion here this morning. It's very, very cold. Uh, so that is Calgary for ya. Last night I took Harley for a walk and it was so cold. Anyways, listen, today I wanna be answering this incredibly important question, which is, let me get to it. How do you get through the holidays? Like what's the easiest way to get through the holidays without feeling deprived? And I think that's the most important thing is we wanna enjoy things, we wanna have some treats. I mean, who doesn't? You, there's gonna, it's gonna be there. But without fail, I can tell you my calendar is beyond busy right now talking to women who've already gained weight in December. So I want to share with you my, uh, my, my metaphor, my analogy. If you haven't heard it, I've got a video on it on YouTube, but it's basically my kitty cat versus lion metaphor. And if you haven't heard it before, it really can be life changing. I write about it in my books. So here's what I want you to, to think about. And I've got visuals for you today. I want you to take a look at a cat, right? This is just your basic kitty cat. It's got perfect physiology. It's a cute little thing, uh, like look at it. But now I also want you to remember, hey, uh, good morning, that a cat and a lion are the same species, okay? So a cat and a lion. Now, which, which one do you think needs to eat more food, the cat? or the lion? It's not a trick question, right? Of course, the lion needs to eat more food. Why? Because it's bigger, it's got more muscles, it's, it's more powerful, it's just simply a bigger animal. It has greater metabolic demand than this little tiny kitty cat. Now, what I want you to understand if you're a woman watching this, which really is everybody that I speak to in this group, so you probably are, is uh, you're a kitty cat. Okay, you're a kitty cat and you live in a lion-sized world right now. So portions are meant for lions. We probably live with a lion. Uh, men are typically bigger, have higher muscle mass, etc. cetera. Uh, bags, boxes, portion sizes, everything is designed for lions. So what happens to a poor little kitty cat that ends up over time eating as much as a lion? Well, that perfect little kitty cat with perfect physiology, with a perfect metabolism for its size, if it overeats, this is so important because weight loss is not personal. It is physiological, it's scientific. There's psychological stuff that goes on for sure, but this one tip, which is, eat like a kitty cat this Christmas or over the holidays. Eat like this perfect little kitty cat right here on the screen. And that way when you're done, or, you know, when you're through this season, you're not going to feel like this lion, right? And what happens is, you know, we, we just don't recognize the impact of, of alcohol, of sugar, of grazing throughout the day on sweets, on treats, on, um, eggnog, you know, all, all the appetizers, cheese trays, cheese balls, warm brie, crackers, the one, you know, it's okay to have some like a kitty cat, right? It's okay to have some, like you're just this perfect little kitty cat. What happens and when you get into trouble and trouble, meaning, you know, it might be more like this, uh, um, over time is this is where we start to feel not great about ourselves. This is where our clothes feel tight, our energy is low, moving around is hard, joints ache, things hurt, uh, and it's preventable. So here's the deal, because I talked to somebody yesterday, she's like, I don't think you understand, I'm already the fat cat, <laughs> you know, and sometimes we are pretty hard on how we speak to ourselves. So what, even if you know that you're carrying more weight than you wanna be right now, we want to prevent tire slashing, which is, oh, well, whatever. I'm just going to do what I want to do through the holidays and then I'll worry about it in January. That kind of thinking right there um, is exactly what got you into this place in the first place, right? It's exactly what created this outcome. And so when you learn how to create those kitty cat portion size, when you learn how to uh, recognize that a little is enough, I, I, it's more than enough, right? Having some, we don't need to have it all. We definitely don't need to have it all in a day or over the season. So, and 
in our household, we pick our favorites. We pick what our favorites are. Uh, treats are immediately packed up, portioned, put in the freezer, the outside freezer, because just like any, I work from home, there's gonna always be things that are around, and if I was to be going to those things all the time, no doubt about it, five pounds is not, five, five pounds of fat over this time period, it's not hard to put on. It's hard to take off. So you can put on weight much more quickly than you can take it off if you are going to take off that excess stored energy in a healthy way. So I don't know what you think about the little kitty cat lion metaphor. If it helps you, let me know. Um, for me, it's sort of like these are the guiding things. If I'm taking as much as my husband, I'm taking too much. If we're sharing something like a bottle of wine, a dessert, something, he gets two thirds, I get one third. So often men are, like, men are chivalrous. They're going to be like, no, baby, you have it. And you drink three quarters of the bottle or you eat three quarters of the dessert and they just have a little. And that is why I'll hear, you know, I'll have women say, yeah, my husband and I, we eat the same things, you know, but I, I like, I gain 10 pounds and he loses. And it's like, yes, because he's a lion. He's a lion and he's basically not even eating the lion size portion you're eating it but you're the kitty cat and I think this t you love the kitty cat oh good I love the kitty cat too it was like it's actually I find it like super helpful um and Jamie you're on too get yay good morning so Christine hi this is where you know I think what we want to do is take this deprivation and restriction come from a dieting world the dieting world says can't have, don't get to, restrict, limit, omit. Uh, and then really what that does, what does it do? It leads to a binge, right? It leads to that binging because you're just like, oh my God, I've been, I've been so good. I just want something. So what often we're balancing is having some and being able to stop. Having some and recognizing in your mind that it's more than enough. Having a little and recognizing that's the perfect amount for my kitty cat body size. Now you may be someone who goes, yeah, but Jen... I've never thought of my, I cannot, myself is tiny. I cannot tell you how many women say to me when I, when I tell them, like, listen, you're tiny. Their self-concept is, are you crazy? I'm not tiny. I'm huge. Well, their frame is tiny. You, as a woman, you want to start to think of yourself as petite, as a kitty cat. And um, I was Googling to see if there's like some sexy kitty cat. It's really weird what you find on the internet. But, uh, you know, even if you're that cat who has over time put on a little extra weight, it's not too late. It's not, you know, it's never too late to take it off again. It's never too late to go, oh my gosh, I just didn't know. I was overeating and I need to, <laughs> that is a funny comment. I need to get my husband to recognize he's a lion and not a dinosaur. That's fantastic. Yeah, all of us, right? And so what we have to recognize is we're up against a few things here. First of all, we're up against food production. We're up against rest. If you eat out at restaurants, restaurants serve lion-sized portions. There's a whole thing around good value, providing you know large portions. And then the challenge is, is when it's in front of us and we like it, we eat it. So our brain is not wired to stop. That's the hard part. They did a study with Pringles. You know, Pringles, that I think I've talked about this with y'all, that tube, and they put... Well, when you eat the tube of Pringles, I mean, most people eat the tube of Pringles over a couple sittings, if not in one sitting. And uh, they put a divider chip in there that was red. So every 10 chips, they put a divider chip and it was red. And the divider chip signaled the brain, oh, I've had a portion. So if you are going to have some of this stuff, don't just eat it from the container in the pantry where no one's watching. Literally put it on a plate, put it into a bowl, put it somewhere where you can see it, look at it, and then savor it, right? savor it, enjoy it, and then that's how we don't end up having feelings of guilt or shame or self-loathing around what we've just done. So my little kitty cat clan, go off and be your little kitty cat self today. And uh, you know, if you keep that up more often than not, most likely you're gonna get through the holidays uh, completely in weight maintenance. Um, and that may, be, like, that may be the most successful Christmas or holiday season for you yet because so many women do see that five to seven, if not 10 pounds creep on over November, December, and then they're working to get it off again, January, February, March, April. So uh, let me know, I'm back tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's the 16th, more than halfway through the month. So if you have a question, if you have something that you want coaching on, drop it into the comments below. And um, if you haven't gone on to Instagram yet, go follow me on Instagram, because we're starting to do reels, and I'm really terrible, but we're having fun with it. So we're gonna have some good Christmas tips or holidays 
holiday tips on Insta as well. Okay. Oh, TikTok too. Uh, bye for now, everybody.